We can work with it. Lean with it. Ooh, ooh, rock with it. Ooh, ooh. No? Okay. And hello, beautiful people. Welcome back. So to those of you that don't follow me over on Instagram, I'm going to jump into what happened here. So this was not the originally um, scheduled programming, if you will, that was supposed to take place today. This is um, something that I'm just flying with off the cuff from a bunch of suggestions from you guys, because for whatever reason, my lovely SD card corrupted like three or four files that I needed to actually do today's video, which is the one you're supposed to be seeing. And I didn't find out until Wednesday. So um, given, you know, life <laughs> And like how chaotic it is right now I don't have a lot of time to film and I asked you guys you know what would you like to see like is there anything in particular and a lot of you actually you know kind of mentioned over on Instagram that you would like to hear from me what my favorite things are to do like during this crazy quarantine time you know whether it's like my favorite books or movies activities whatever and uh, more than anything you just like to hang out and have a little piece of normalcy so that's what we're gonna do I'm just gonna zoom you guys in I was gonna put my makeup on first and then do this and then I was like hmm, ain't nobody wants to do that Y'all want to hang out while I do it. Um, so yeah, let's just go ahead, zoom in, and let's hang out. Oh, okay, that was really rude. So I'm just giving my primer a second to settle in really quickly. I went in with the Urban Decay All Nighter um, new primer stuff. I'm still testing this out. I think I used it first in a video... God, it's probably been like three or so weeks ago, which I can link that up here if you want to see like the full first impression. It was that and a ton of other makeup, but um, I'm still testing it out and I'm hoping to have an update video for you guys here relatively soon. Um, as far as like this products and a bunch of other ones that I've been testing, I like to come back and give you, you know, how it's been working now that I've used it a ton. What do I think? That sort of thing. So be on the lookout for that video, hopefully in the next couple of weeks. But um, I wanted to read you one of the comments that I got over on Instagram. It came through um, that they said, Said, why don't you do a favorites video? You can talk about your recent favorite shows, movies, songs, books, online purchases, etc. I love knowing what people are into and I'm always looking for new things. And just, you know, that's kind of like where I'm going at with this video. I just realized I can't see my foundation. No, I can't see anything. Who are we kidding? Um, I think I want to start with some, what's that called? Um, spot concealing. There we go. Um, okay. Also, people have asked me before, like, Paige, is this really how you are? And yes, it really is. Like, this isn't, I couldn't make this up for camera. I am the most scatterbrained, like, because my brain is always in 32 different, like, directions, and I just, I cannot slow it down. Where is my concealer? Also, this entire, like, room situation, it is a complete and total catastrophe, because I have filmed, I don't even want to know, probably 15 videos. Like, I filmed in here for a month, and I haven't put not one thing away. It's a situation. Ha! <laughs> Found my concealer! y'all okay where's my mirror oh my god this is seriously did I leave it in the bathroom I think I left my mirror in the bathroom carried it in there so I could see the back of my hair the other day and I don't think it's ever come back oh this is annoying okay so mirror is now in hand now we can get into this so the first thing on this list oh and I did get a bunch of questions too on like the business side of things how that's working out and if we have time at the end I will touch on that because I know a bunch of you are curious um but let's go ahead and spot conceal and we're going to talk about my favorite shows and my favorite movies and all that kind of stuff because I am <laughs> I'm a very weird person when it comes to shows so the first thing you should know about me is that when it comes to any show Show or movie in general I can't do scary scary horror movies anything like that mm -mm, mm -mm. I can't do it um, I suffer from like really awful nightmares as it is and every time that I watch movies like that fun fact I end up in the movie in my dream so like whatever happens whether it's like murder rape pillage it doesn't matter I end up like in it <laughs> and I'm just not I'm not about ready to live that life so um, I don't watch anything like that. I instead prefer to stick with um, like nice, you know, lighthearted, funny type shows or like, you know, the stupid young adult type shows that everyone is always embarrassed to say they watch. Not me, girl. I watch them all the time. And I think that's a good place to start. So the first list I'm going to give you are older shows that I love to watch. Ones that are in no way relevant now, but I still watch them and I'm not even like, I'm not even ashamed of it anymore. Like I used to be like, oh, <laughs> don't tell anyone. And now I'm just like, yep, bring it on, bring it on. So so the first thing is <laughs> Dawson's Creek. I still watch Dawson's Creek. I've watched it through probably, oh my, probably four or five times. Like I'll watch it, just put it on in the background. I love that. I also watch The OC. <laughs> I've watched that through several times. Um, Gilmore Girls, uh, Gossip Girl, Grey's Anatomy, of course, whether they're old or new episodes. I mean, I guess that's more of a current one, but I still watch that. Um... 
what's another the, oh hold on I, got, I have to consult my list um the golden girls friends obviously friends that's that's just never gonna go anywhere so that's not loading at the moment um i probably should have tried opening netflix too at the same time but i also loved two recent ones that i just got done finishing were parenthood and um oh gosh uh brothers and brother and sister or brothers and sisters however that goes i watched all the seasons of that both of those shows are so 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 good um the those are like two recent favorites. They're one of those series for me that I watched them through once and I probably wouldn't watch them through again, but oh my God, when you are watching those those two shows in particular, it, you literally get, at least, at least for me, I got lost in the show. Like I was a part of the family. I was a part of everything, every decision, everything they were talking about, and it was life-changing. So I highly recommend both of those. Um, I love MASH. MASH is good. Ooh, okay, well, wait, hold on. I got too excited because that's a current one. I'm trying to knock out like some of the old Old, like feel good favorites you know what else I was really sad about I need to move on to foundation but you know what made me so sad is that they uh the show rise they only did one season of it it was such a good show like it was a little bit campy but it was so good and so cute and they got rid of it it makes me so sad Ooh, okay here's a couple more I opened up Netflix I also watched heart of Dixie um which was super like <laughs> so campy but i watched it it was cute and so tell that my parents and i we share a netflix account <laughs> because it'll be like huh, heart of dixie and then um the great british bake-off and then the corpse bride and then the crown yours mine and ours and then tarzan the incredibles <laughs> like <laughs> those are my moms Ooh, the ranch it just got finished but the ranch such a good show it was better with rooster but you know they took him out for whatever reason not going to talk about it but the ranch was a fantastic show um queer eye oh my god I love Queer Eye. Great show. I've also watched Friday Night Lights. I watched that a few years ago, but I watched through the whole series of that. Um, I haven't watched Good Trouble yet, but I've heard that it's okay. Um, I haven't really heard like, you know, infinitely one way or the other if it's good or not. It was a continuation of The Fosters, which I loved that show. So I, again, I'm not sure if Good Trouble is good. You guys can tell me if it's if it is down below. Um, personally, I feel like the, the characters that I think they cut from the show because the girls basically went to college, I'm concerned that those are the characters that were like the hardiness of it but again haven't watched it don't, don't know haven't watched it just surmising and then before I get into current favorites I should actually put some makeup on my face because so far and this is where we're at so hmm, let's go ahead and put some makeup on my face what do I want to wear today I think I'm gonna go in with just my Urban Decay Stay Naked I don't typically love it a lot by itself so I think maybe I'll cut in a little bit with my um, L'Oreal Pro Glow just to give it like a little bit of something um um, otherwise like I love the look it's a very skin finish look but I want it to have just like a little oomph to it just a little bit nothing too much um so let me go ahead here I am so scattered I am so sorry um let's go ahead here I'm gonna take a few pumps of the oh gosh you brawny and I'm using this in the shade 11 nn and then we're gonna grab shake it up a lot here the L'Oreal infallible pro glow this is in the shade 202 which I'm not sure why it's in that shade my god that's not even close to my color Wow. Can you see that darkness in the middle of the other stuff that's running down my hand? That's the shade of this. Wow, that's dark. Okay, so does anybody else do this? They just like grab the nearest brush and then just like, did anybody else do that or just me? I don't know. It's actually not a horrid match. It's a little bit dark, but we can work with it. Lean with it. Ooh, ooh, rock with it. Ooh, ooh. No? Okay. Let's go ahead now. We're going to move in to some concealer. And for that, I'm going to use my Hourglass. This is in the shade Birch. And if you missed my video on Wednesday, I'm going to go ahead and link it here. I actually went through and I rated um, all of the Hourglass that I have and like their products. And I talked about, you know, the pros and cons and all that stuff. And it's actually a pretty helpful video if you've been considering picking up anything from Hourglass because their stuff is a little bit more on the expensive side. So I wanted to give you guys like a huge thank you i have had so many people um whether it's in the comments or they're tweeting it or they're sending me P uh, dms or i almost said pms um if they're sending me dms whatever i've had so many of you that are being so sweet and you're like Paige, does it help if we watch all the ads like we really want to support you oh my god i just got foundation on my leggings <laughs> Okay, so that's unfortunate, but um, yeah, I've just had so many of you guys reaching out to me, and I just wanted you to know, like, publicly on here, how sweet that is, whether it's me or any other influencer. The fact that you guys are like, hey, we really want to support you, we know it's hard for you too, um, and here's, here's like, if this is the only thing we can do, we want to do it. Being a creator and being, like, loved and appreciated and all of that is one thing, but having people that are so willing to take the time to not skip the ad and to watch it, and it's just, I, 
I just want you to know how much I appreciate it. I know other small creators appreciate it. And it's just, thank you. Like, I, genuinely, I can't thank you enough. But right now, obviously, it's super hard for everyone. And I just want you to know that, like, the fact that you would think of me, or again, speaking for other small creators, the fact that you would think of us like that means so much. Um, and to answer a lot of your questions, yes, it does make a difference. And I don't know the exact rules. I know that if you skip it, um, if you skip it completely, like right from the beginning, I don't think the creator makes any money. And if they do, it's like very, very small. If you watch it to like 10 seconds or something like that, there's another set. And then if you watch it all the way through, I think that they make like the largest amount they can. It's something like that. Don't quote me because um, I'm not really sure. All I know is that um, that's like what I've heard kind of echoed other places. The problem with YouTube, one of the many problems with YouTube is that they don't, they're not really clear about like how you actually can make money. All they say is, well, you have to put ads in and then you put ads in and either sometimes the ads don't go through like you don't have any control over it sometimes I think that they put in more ads than what you say like it's a whole thing but I just wanted you guys to know that it does make a difference and not only does it make a difference in the money side of things it makes a difference like in my heart because it's so it's it, at that point it's more than money it's just thoughtfulness and one thing that I talk about so much on this channel is the thoughtfulness between you guys and me and like how that whole dynamic works and it's just sweet and I'm not gonna drone on but I just want to say thank you and it means a lot and now I need powder okay because we're gonna we're gonna get off this little choo-choo because you know y'all know how I am I'll just talk and talk and talk for no reason so I need a powder hello powder can I just say really quickly I'm gonna go in with the hourglass powder um my skin looks so skin like it's unreal like it's not flat but it looks healthy it looks lightly glowy but not over the top like it's just I just feel like it looks so skin like Gosh, okay, holy bejesus. All right, so while I set this, we're gonna go under eyes and T-zone real quick. Um, let's talk about some favorite shows, and one of my favorites that I've loved for years has been Grey's Anatomy. Took me a long time to get on board, okay, and I mean a long time. Like, I made fun of my friends for years for watching this show, and now I watch it all the time, because it's just, it's, it's like an addiction at this point. But here's my thing. I was watching it, slightly controversial. I was watching it, and I absolutely unequivocally hate and I mean hate like they're everyone oh hate is a strong word it's a strong word and it's my honest feelings on this subject the final episode that they did to you know where Alex says goodbye absolute hot fire garbage am I the only one I hated that episode I thought it was so stupid it was so boring they showed the same scenes of the same two kids running around a field and going up over here it was like such a cop-out episode for me like every aspect of that I was just like are you kidding me are you kidding me? Like, I understand Alex wanted to be done, but you couldn't have come back for one episode and done it right. You couldn't have provided just one. I, I, oh my God. There's just, that episode was just unacceptable to me on so many levels. You guys can leave me, let me know down below. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Do you think I'm crazy? Totally fine either way. But like, I, oh my God. Oh, I can't. I'm not a fan. Absolutely not. Now I'm going to go in with some of my Chanel Soleil Creme Bronzer, and I'm going to use my Scott Barnes brush here. This is the Scott Barnes 65. I love this brush. Um, it's, it's really good. I love the profile of this. Now as far as other shows that I love, um, we can go ahead and start off. Obviously I love This Is Us. I just, oh my god, it's so good. Um, I'm a couple episodes behind right now. No spoilers. No spoilers. Oh, don't spoil it for me. I'll be so upset. We're going to go in with the ColourPop. This is Under Pressure. Dun, 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 dun. So two other shows that I absolutely love. God, that's such a pretty blush. Um, two other shows that I love, they go together. Um, I love Chicago Fire and I love Chicago Med. I've talked about both of those before though. Like nothing nothing crazy there. I don't watch Chicago PD at all. I've never been able to like really get into it, uh, which sucks because I've heard it's really good. But like every time I've tried, it just, I, I don't know. It's never jived with me. And I don't know if it's like one of those shows that's hard to get into or not. But like these two shows, The Fire and The Med, those were both just like so easy. I flew in and it didn't take any effort at all. Um, so I, I was kind of hoping the same for PD. It didn't happen, but that's okay. Two out of three isn't bad. Oh, obviously, I love the voice. I'm super behind on that too, because I just, I haven't been able to like get my mind in it and watch it, but also really good. I've already said The Resident. Um, what else is there? Oh my God. Old episodes of America's Next Top Model. Oh my life. The, I can't tell you how many of those photo shoots I want to recreate. Oh, the pitter patter of my heart and soul. Guys, I love the older episodes. The newer ones, not my favorite. Like once they started changing it up and they added like a social vote, that sort of stuff, I wasn't a fan. I liked the original America's Next Top Model. Oh, so good. Like, you know, I'm talking like seasons one through like 12 or whatever. Those were, oh, mwah. Those were so good. Then they started just getting a little bit too weird for me. Um, oh, 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 oh my God. Okay. 
Mm, this is I got very excited. Um, I need to set my face. So how tacky is my face? Not very um, I'm gonna use my hourglass This is the ambient ethereal light because my skin doesn't have much tack to it It's like pretty much dried down So I don't want to overset it and this will do a really nice job setting it and letting me like work with it while still not making it look thick and chunky um, Okay, so Let's go ahead and talk about this show that I'm up obsessed with. It's rel it's newer to me. It's only on its second season right now and it's called A Million Little Things, right? Is that what that's called? A Million, yes, A, a Million Little Things. Oh my god, where has this show been my whole life? Guys, I feel like it is honestly the embodiment of a show that was meant for me. Um, so just to give you a little backstory, it starts off with this group of friends and one of the friends, his name is John, he ends up committing suicide. And the entire show is like, how does this group of friends go on and like what happens in their lives? And it basically follows them through um, what it looks like after you have a friend that makes that decision and you know, one of them was almost about to do it at the same time John did and it was just this whole thing. It is such an amazing show. It's so good that I saw like a snippet of it and I was instantly intrigued and on Hulu they only had the current season. They didn't have season one. I actually went and bought season one. Yes, I went and bought it like on Amazon so I could watch it like a digital download type deal um, and I blew through that in a weekend. I watched the entire season in one weekend, like did nothing else. This was probably a couple of months ago. Um, I just, I could not stop. It's so, so freaking good. Um, so I highly, highly recommend that show. Ooh, one that my dad and I watch, which coming out of left field, never did I think that my dad would be into this kind of show. We watch New Amsterdam together and it is such a good show, you guys. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna go in with brows. This is the Arches and Halo uh, Tanya Crooks Professional Brow. I use these in a new drugstore video, which I'll link up here. So I'm just gonna use this. It's in the shade um, Warm Brown. It's in the shade Warm Brown. So really quickly, let's talk about brows because I want to know if I'm the only one. I feel like as you get into makeup, like imagine, you know, you're, you're just getting into it. This is like a few years ago. Um, you start getting into makeup some. I think that everyone or a lot of people walk the same path as me. That's why I'm saying this. Um, I think that like when I was first getting into it, I was like, eh, I don't need anything for my brows. Like they're fine. They're super natural. It's not a big deal. Then all of a sudden I was like, oh, a little bit of pencil. Then somehow you go from super natural all the way to like block intense ass brows really quickly. And then once you're at block brows, you spend the next couple years like trying to dial it back and making them look a little bit more natural and learning how to feather them and learning how to just like find that even ground between filling them in but not having them look like really intense. That's kind of the stage that I'm in and I've been here for probably... I would say like two, no, maybe a year or so. Cause when I first started, I did, like I said, absolutely natural brows. Then I kind of drifted into like super intense, crazy, like, oh my God, like they were too big. Then they were too little. Then they were just like, you know, j everything you can possibly do wrong with a brow I have done with my brows. And I thought it looked great the entire time because confidence is key. So in the last couple of years, I've really started taking a liking to like a more natural kind of feathered brow. Um, especially when it's just like day to day, you know, normal type makeup. From here, I'm gonna go in with my ABH Dip Brow Gel. This is in dark brown. Just gotta mix it up a little bit. Y'all know I've been using my Benefit stuff a ton, but I also love this brow gel too. All right, so I'm gonna move on to eyes now because I just sat um, for the last 15, 20 minutes after I said, I don't wanna deal with my brows, and uh, I, deal I did it anyways, and I screwed with my brows for no reason because you wanna know why? This brow right here, it's an optical illusion. It always looks thicker and fuller and better than this brow, and I know I can't fix it because it's an optical illusion that only appears on camera, <sighs> but I try to fix it anyways. I think the slope of my forehead must just be different or something. I don't know, guys. I'll go with anything. Okay, so given that we are uh, just doing like day-to-day -day type makeup, nothing too crazy, I'm grabbing the Sailor Moon palette that I just talked about in my last video, and I'm gonna just go in with the more neutral shades up here. I'm gonna start off with Moon Castle. Ooh, that's a really pretty shade. It's really almost undetectable on camera, but it's a nice like light, light pink color. Ooh, that's pretty. It's like light pink, but you could build it up to like a pinky mauve. So before my brows just took me out of session for like the last year and a half of my life, it feels like, um, I was talking about shows. One thing, I'm as I'm scrolling down, a show that I watched not too long ago that I was obsessed with, the show Younger, Oh my gosh, it's an older show, so it definitely falls into that category, but that was a great show um, about an older woman that pretends to be younger, so that way she can like get a job at this firm, a publishing firm, and all of that, and it's super, it's a little bit campy, but it's it's a good show, and it's a good like, you know how people will say a book is an easy read? It's an easy watch. It's a good show. I also really love Station 19. It goes along with, um, 
uh, Grey's Anatomy, kind of like how Chicago Fire and Chicago Med go together. Th those Station 19 and Grey's, they have the same characters. Uh, Warren is like a crossover between the two, and it's just, it's such a good show. I think that's it for a lot of the more current shows. You guys can leave me your favorites down below if you have any that you like, because uh, I'm always on the lookout for new shows that I can die hard be obsessed and in love with, because <laughs> um, y'all know I love to binge watch me some shows. And now I'm just grabbing some NYX glitter glue. Even when I do a super simple eye look, I still like to use this, just for the long Longevity of the shadows. And then I'm gonna grab the shade Silver Crystal, which is this nice light pink color here. And I'm just gonna pop that all over the lid. Now let's go ahead and drift over a little bit out of shows and into movies, seeing how I spent this entire video talking about shows. Um, when it comes to movies, I'm one of those oldie but goodie type video people. Um, I love watching older shows like Down Periscope. That's one of my favorite movies. Um, my mom and I love to watch it. I also love The Family Stone. That's like a, oh God, that's so good. Um, it's more, it's kind of like my, my favorite Christmas show, but I can also watch it whenever because I love it. Um, my mom and I also love to watch The Mummy, which I know is super weird, uh, but The Mummy 1 and 2 are really good with Brendan Fraser. Um, what are some other movies that we love to watch? I should have asked her. Calling mom. Other. Okay, so I was waiting for my mom to answer and or call me back. She didn't. So I sprayed my uh, my face with my Morphe setting spray, which, mom, if you're watching this, what else could you be doing if not answering the phone call of the fabulous, adorable little youngin that you pushed out? Even if you are only three rooms away, I expect you to answer my phone call. Um, how, how dare you? But I did have a thought of something that we do watch. My mom and I love to watch together. It's not a movie, uh, but it's also not like a show. It was that Gilmore Girl thing, the year in the life that they did. We love watching that. We will watch Watch it on repeat. It's so good. How could I forget this? I just got done watching Love is Blind, um, which by the way, what a ride that was. What a social experiment. Oh my gosh. Highly recommend. Um, speaking of shows that I forgot that I watched ever. Um, I'm trying to think though other shows. I already said Queer Eye. Shameless is over. It was like, or there's one more season of it. I do watch Shameless though. That's a great show. Um, oh, movies. Okay, so other movies that I love. To All the Boys I've Loved Before and To All the Boys I've Loved Before. P.S. I still love you. Both of them are good. Um, my favorite of the two is the first one. I, I thought the second one was good, um, but it didn't, I felt like it didn't have as much magic as the first one. That could just be me. I also just realized I'm going to add a little bit uh, bronzer and blush because in the powder version, I never added any. And normally I like to add a little bit just for the dimension. If I could open it, that would be great. Excuse me. I'm going to go in with some of the Revlon Skin lights bronzer really quickly. I'm not going to add a ton of it because I don't think I need a lot of definition, but I want to add just a little bit of depth. Again, not that I need it, need it, but I just want to add a little bit here. And then of course I'm going to grab my Cover FX blush. This is in the shade Soft Peach. I'm going to mix the two sides a little bit here, make it like a nice satiny kind of blush. I was so upset, just random side note. Um, I went on this morning because as like I told you, I'm filming this on Thursday and this is the day where the Nabla Cosmetics um, highlight is supposed to be on sale. And I checked before I went to bed, okay, before I went to bed at like, I don't even know what time it was. It was late because I watched Survivor. So it was it's probably like it comes on at eight so it would have been 9, 9.30, okay? I checked. They had all shades available, so they restocked the shades. I woke up this morning, and I'd like you to know, I get up at like 4.30, 5 o'clock Michigan time, okay? Michigan time, which is very early. And uh, I get up 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning and uh, to, you know, get ready. And the first thing I do, I have an alarm set on my phone to get on and get this blush or get this highlight because I know it's going to sell out. I log on. All the shades are gone, but like two of them, two that I can't wear because I'm so pasty. And I'm like, are you kidding me? How many did they even have available? I think I, okay. I'm not one of these people that's like, oh, it's a conspiracy. I think that they put that on the ad and they only had like a, a hundred of them to sell and they put it in the ad as a way to entice people to buy. Just my opinion, because there is, I, that sale was, there was no way it was, how is it possible that they all could have sold out? Like yesterday, I didn't get the makeup erasers and that's fine. I have one, I wanted to get more and they sold out by like, I mean, what time was it my time? I checked at like 9.30 and they were sold out. And that I can see because at 9.30, you know, everyone else is awake, you know, it's like in California, it's like 6.30. So I could see those ones selling out quicker. But this one, when it's, you know, what, six, or when it's 4.30, five o'clock my time, it's like two or three o'clock in California. Like there's no way, I'm sorry. 
Maybe it's just me. Oh my god, look at that highlight. Yes, please. This is that uh, Revlon Skin Lights highlight in the shade 201 Daybreak Glimmer. I've been wearing it every day because it looks beautiful. Um, <laughs> that's all the more reason you need. Don't get me wrong, I know that this isn't like a big deal right now, okay? Obviously, with everything that's going on in the world, um, there's like bigger fish to fry type deal. But I was just mad because after seeing that side of it, when the sale's only been going on, you know, a little while, it seems a little suspect to me that like the one thing everyone was so excited about that Ulta has convenient had zero stock on for months or weeks or whatever it's been all of the sudden they have full stock and then it's sold out again in like I don't know how what two hours I don't know it just seems very suspect to me okay so I just thought of another one my mom and I we don't go out of our way necessarily to watch it but if it's on TV we will um the uh, the Twilight series which is so weird I was like dead I was anti Twilight okay I was like this is so dumb and somehow it turned into one of those movies that I always just like if I'm editing and it's on TV I'll put it on I don't know how this happened, but that's one of those movies that, like, I watch, even though I, I, I don't even know how to describe it. It's like, I don't want to, but I do. Like, it's I don't, it's one of those. Um, and I know we all have movies like that. But as far as movies go in general, I'm actually not, like, a, a big movie person. I mean, as you guys can imagine, I have a hard time keeping focus long enough to complete a sentence, much less, you know, watch an entire movie for two and a half hours. Um, so I have a really hard time with movies in general, which is why there's not a lot on my list. Now, as far as books go, I do have some that I like, but like I mentioned earlier, I'm more so just someone that's into a genre and the book, like when I read like the back of it and a little bit of the beginning, I have to just get into it. Otherwise I can't read it. Like it won't hold my attention, but um, I do prefer things that are in the young adult realm just because, oh my God. Thank you, hon. Bye. Y'all, I'm supposed to go in and have a CAT scan? Oh, absolutely not. No, thank you. Think I'm going near that hospital unless you bring in that scat, cause, uh, that scat scan. Okay, unless you're bringing it to me, honey, I'm not having a scat scan or any cat scan or any kind of scan. No. Lock it down. I'm also going to grab a little hit here of my Catrice Dewy Glow Setting Spray. I've been my e.l.f. lash curler here. Got to curl these lashes all the way up to Mr. Jesus himself, honey. And still testing it out, I'm going to grab the CoverGirl Uncensored Mascara. As far as favorite purchases or things that I've gotten lately that are my favorites, I really don't have much to speak on um, because everything in the Ulta sale that I was really excited about, I haven't been able to get. I did pick up this though, which I didn't do a video on it just because I wasn't sure if you guys would want one, but I picked up the Dyson Corral. This is their new hair straightener because I wanted to test it out and see if it was good. It had a bunch of claims to it. Um, there it is. It had to charge. Um, well, it doesn't have to charge, but I leave it on the charger. Um, but I picked that up because they talked a lot about like hair damage and, and whatnot. And um, those are things I struggle with, like hair breakage, on um, uh, uneven hair or heat distribution. And heat really just like fries my hair because my hair is already so sensitive because of my hormones, my tumor and all of that. Uh, so I have to be super careful with heat stuff. And I've had a lot of problems with a lot of other straighteners. So even though it's expensive, I wanted to test it out. If you guys want a video on that, let me know. Anyways, let me know down below. Moral of the story was I haven't really got anything awesome. Ooh, I lied. Um, <laughs> I just choked. I got so excited. Um, that's true excitement. There was a hoodie from a website called, I think it's like Civil Regime or whatever. They always come out with these super adorable tie-dye designs and they've got like the embroidered flowers. If you've ever been on Instagram, you've had to have seen them because they literally advertise the living shit out of Instagram. And I freaking love them. I think they are so cute. Like the designs, everything about them is so aesthetically pleasing. And I finally caught the launch and I got the one I wanted. And as long as it fits, I'll be very happy. I, I had to guess on the size a little bit. Um, I'll put a picture up so you can see it. It is so freaking cute. Um, so I'm very excited. I bought that. It's on its way. Shh, I'm very busy. Okay, so just so you guys know, I truly don't think I've ever done like a worse job applying mascara in my life. I don't think you can see it on camera, but I have officially gotten mascara all under my entire lash line, both sides. I had it up in my tear duct right here. I got it under my eye. I got it on the inside bridge of my nose right there. Like, I honestly, it's like I've never applied mascara a day in my life. Wow. Let's go ahead for lips. I think I want to do this little guy from Buxom. It's a lip gloss, the shade Jasmine. It's like a dark purple, but I think it could look really pretty. 
with this eye look. And all right, you guys, that's the end of the video. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. What are some things that you're loving right now in any of these categories or other categories? Um, I know there's some stuff that I didn't touch on like business-wise and whatnot. So you can let me know down below if you would like to see more of these videos while we're kind of going through this weird quarantine type situation. Is this the type of thing you're into? Um, or I don't know, do, do you like these kinds? I don't know, because they're, they're so hit or miss. So you guys can tell me down below um, if you still like them and if you like the way this turned out. Personally, Personally, I actually think this turned out really nice. The only issue that I am having, because this is a combination for foundation I've never used before, um, leave it to me to do a review no matter what, but I am noticing some settling and like light cracking, like dryness already into my smile lines, which is weird. I didn't anticipate that with the combination of those two foundations, um, especially when I didn't really like intensely set my face. So I don't know. Well, I'll kind of, I'll wear this and see how it goes, but I want to hear from you guys down below. Do you like these kinds of videos still? Like I said, leave all of your thoughts, opinions opinions, comments, concerns, love, hate, whatever you got. Well, leave your hate at home. But everything else you can leave down below. Let me know again your thoughts, opinions, and just thank you for being here with me. Um, I know that we're all here for each other, and as weird as it sounds, I know you all think that I show up for you, um, but you guys show up for me every day, every watch, every click, every ad. You show up and you support me and other small creators like me, and it means a lot right now. So just thank you so much. But I hope you guys all have an amazing day, week, whatever it is when you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Y'all want to know what happened? Okay, my mom texted me and she said, what did you need? I'm on another call. Who else you talking to, mom? You can't be talking to nobody else. You are my mother. <laughs> Clearly, you live for me. <laughs> like, other friends. What? <sighs> Clearly, her priorities need to be straightened around. <laughs> Number one, okay? One, right here. One, I'll show you. One moms, I tell you. Let's go ahead and have a little discussion. Okay. I just want to go, what? Have some fun. Let's have some fun. Let's have some fun. Let's have, have, have some fun. <laughs>